Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm inside the new Mercedes EQS full electric limousine sedan. This is the king of the king in my opinion. This is the best electric car in 2021 in terms of comfort, safety, technology. It's just incredible guys. I will have next days on my channel also the full review and the test drive. So if you want to see that, click the subscribe button to see when those videos will come out. And in this video today, we will talk about those incredible hyper screen from Mercedes. We have three big, huge screens right here. Also head up display. I wanna talk about all this technology inside the Mercedes. So if you are new on my channel, just click the subscribe button to see the test drive and also the review when it will come on my channel. First of all, I don't know what to start because this car is just incredible. I mean, in terms of comfort, and quality the interior of the car it's top notch one of the best car so uh first of all i want to start with the screens so this is the hyper screen guys this is the maximum uh that you can get it and the car come with free uh screen touch screens right here and also with a head-up display and let's start talking about the screens for example you have a smaller screen here if i'm not wrong this is 10 inch 10.25 inch display if i'm not wrong this is for the passenger in this moment i cannot control it because someone have to stay on those seats i will go in the end here on these seats and i will show you how can you play with it but keep in mind this is also only for the passenger here in the middle we have a huge screen i have to tell you I think this is the biggest screen that I see it in a car until today. It's just huge. It's come until here, to be honest. And it's touch screen, of course. It has also the latest uh, software graphic from Mercedes. And here we have this 12 inch display in the front right here. It's just huge. I mean, even this is huge. And if I'm not wrong, this is 17 inch or something like that. Anyway, it's really, really big. It's almost like a, a computer monitor. It's really big and this one also it's big and the head-up display is the latest head-up display that also uh, Mercedes use it on the S-Class with all that incredible view like three-dimensional view I will show you a little bit later so first of all guys I want to start with the cockpit you can control it from here from the uh, steering wheel you have those touch buttons and also the home button so first of all let me go to home here of course like the other s class for example you can choose different views you can have it in a sport view then going back you can have it in classic way so you know the classic view where you can see different things in the middle there even navigation if you want to or wherever you want to see um, you can have it in the middle the consumption and the energy flow and all kind of stuff let's go forward then we have the navigation here you can have all the navigation on the screen in the front it's huge i have to tell you the navigation and that screen 12 inch display it's just huge going forward you have also assistance systems where you can see all kind of information about uh, adaptive cruise control and lane assist and all that uh, safety features the same as on Tesla for example then you have the service here where you can see even different information when you have to make the service and yeah the tire pressure for example the temperature and all kind of information like that if we go a little bit forward under state you can see also uh, a lot of information about the car in a different way now this is the screen most of you guys i think you already know it it's simple it's nice you can customize you can see so many information and for me it's just one of the best in my opinion with a lot of great brightness quality and information right there in front of you uh, now if you go back to home and if you go up from here you will see that all these settings and graphics you can choose from different graphics are for head-up display and if i go a little bit upper you will see the head-up display right there you can turn it on and off from here you can see different settings for the head-up display the brightness the position as you can see right now i can also play with with the position a little bit uh, if i go left and right you can change the brightness of the screen so you can see it uh, harder or less harder if i go back you can see you have the minimal view you have the sport view the standard view this is the standard view with the navigation right there in the middle and then we have the um, augmented reality guys where you can see somehow uh, three-dimensional shapes of the street where you have to go then you have the echo display 
that show you all kind of information about the driving and then the settings again that you already see so it's really really interesting to be honest you have that incredible head-up display in my opinion one of the best and it's directly on the windshield so i think i'm ending with this digital cockpit because it's very similar with the s-class uh with what s-class have it also the head-up display it's similar if i go here in the middle guys in the center console we have a few interesting things different the start stop engine button is here uh, also we have the the volume kind of a touch volume here and also you can use it as physical button it's very simple and all those things here you can use it as physical button you have the dynamic view here you can change different driving modes if you look there on the screen you can see that uh, you have the echo mode and depending which mode you are the car will change the different settings on the suspension and uh, on the driving mode but the, about that we will talk uh, in other video in the review video and here you have the individual mode where you can individualize from here the way you want it you can change different driving modes for example the drive suspension steering wheel you can change it uh, the way you want to react also here uh, we have a car as you can see it if you press this car it will go to the car settings then you have the eq EQ settings we will talk about that and then you have the camera settings camera it's one of my favorite also the S class have the same camera you have a three dimensional camera right here and you can also adjust it with your finger you can see what it is around the car left right and yeah whatever you can also see the reverse camera the front camera I think you already see it in my other video and also you can see from close up just like that so it's just perfect the way is the car even if you turn on the lights or blinkers uh, it will show you right here in the um, in the view so it's just incredible in my opinion also now that you see what it is in the middle let's talk a little bit about the multimedia system the main multimedia system and down here we have the climatic volume and all that uh, settings for the climatic system and you can turn it on and off you can choose the speed you can choose the temperature from here you can choose whatever you want even though if you change the temperature you can see a nice line on the doors guys look at this you can see on the doors it's moving if you go green if you go cold, it's changing in cold. And even for the passenger, it's the same story. Look at this. Incredible, huh? And it's go all over to the door. If you go down, it's go blue. Every time you press, it will change up there. Look at this. How cool is that? I mean, it gives you that feedback. It's so, so cool. I mean, in my opinion, it's one of the coolest things that I see in a car. Then if you go here, guys, I have to... Let me change this to one because i want to be quiet here guys if you go deep in this menu on the climatic system you can see that that you have also the ionization air freshener that means the car as you know mercedes cars come with a perfume that will be here in the glow box by the way super fancy glow box there will be the perfume uh, and if you have a perfume it will come a very nice smell perfume smell inside the car but keep in mind that the car come with a super filter with a hepa filter very very cool filter that also show you here how cold weight it is outside for example right now uh, it's good and here inside it's also good and you can see that the filter is able to somehow filtrate even the pm 2.5 millimeter very very thick little ultra fine particles nitrogen oxide and outdoor so it's incredible what kind of filters you have inside the car and the climatic menu is just simple i think you already all of you know it uh, you can choose the front row you can choose the the second row where you can change different things you have the air quality up here and then you have the pre entry climatic system so you can customize the climatic system before you go inside the car or before you drive this is the climatic system let me turn it off right now for a second uh, let's go forward this is the main menu the navigation system i think you already know it you already see it probably in my other video with the s class it's incredible i mean it's so huge look at look at my hand it's it's bigger than my hand the screen it's huge and you can you can see here really clear a lot of stuff the streets it gives you also information about the charging station in the city or wherever you want to go it's just incredible in terms of navigation system one of the best then going back phone you already know you can connect your phone very simply right here the radio you can connect your radio you can see the radio stations then you have the media here 
where you have uh, you can connect your media you can use your smartphone your bluetooth and from here you can have all that stuff then you have the application of the car car come also with this dash cam for example the same as tesla if you have an usb stick you can insert it here and the car will record uh, outside so it's really really cool this is the second car that can do that i think if i'm not wrong then if we go to ambient you have massage on your seats for uh, both seats uh, you have massage so that's really incredible and I'm not sure if you have on the rear seats I think you can get it also on the rear seat I'm not sure about that but on the front you have the massage and trust me uh, the massage you get in a Mercedes it's a real massage it's really cool seats you can adjust the lumbar part you can adjust different things from the seats here then you have the ambient light by the way you can choose also your height for example and if you choose my height uh, the seats will um, adjust immediately so look at this i just press it and look at this it will adjust everything will adjust automatic just for me is just crazy i mean how smart uh, the things inside the car are oh i change it to small or yeah anyway it doesn't matter heating setting you already see it then you go to ambient light right here you can change different different uh, lights you have plenty of lights for this uh, reason so many lights inside the car that you can choose from it's just crazy i mean it's one of my favorite feature in the car then energizer here you can choose different energizer for driver for example for passenger and in the same time it will play a nice view the lights will change it's just something refreshing something relaxing you can see warm but now it's it's starting to be super warm inside here and if you want to stop this i never tried before to be honest how can i stop that go to climatic menu you can hear i can already hear heartbeat ah yeah you stop it like that vitality joy refreshing sound of sea summer raining and if you play it I don't know if you can hear it, you can hear it inside the car. Kind of raining. And some kind of nice. Yeah, this is something like like Hyundai have it, that sound of nature. Mercedes also brings something similar, uh, kind of a relaxation inside the car. Good, let's go back. We have the settings of the car where you can change different settings. Assistance systems, let me turn on the car again assistance system here where you can change different things this is the safety features you have avoid contact uh, emergency brake lane assist blind spot technology assistance system traffic sign assist traffic light view for example here if you want to see it attention assist you have the camera settings you have the parking settings right here and you have the vehicle when on the vehicle you have all that sound experience winter tires limit open and close dynamic selection from here you can customize the way you want it uh, the driving mode to be the custom one then you have the digital light by the way guys the lights are incredible we will talk about that in my other video the light can actually print on the ground uh, some kind of um, images depend on uh, wherever you will do on the road when you change the lanes it will print some nice images on the ground but we will talk about that in the other video interior exterior light and then ambient light you can change it from here the system here you can change different things the view the screen control elements then you have the uh, keyboard the language audio here you have um, entertainment have different different uh, audio settings from where you can change uh, the settings from audio are here internet and bluetooth data protection time and date software update by the way the car will do the software updates online wireless uh, as tesla do it so that's something to keep in mind uh, for the future so it comes with a lot of crazy nice features so i don't know next one is the information here on the information you get a lot of infos about the car even this energy flow that looks gorgeous while you're driving you can see what happened with the energy right here when you are regenerate when you recuperate the energy if you go to eq here you have eq all the info about the electric thing so for example you can limit uh, the battery how much you want the battery to be charged uh, on the standard here you have also 
kind of in standard charging you can save it somehow uh, the echo charge it will limit the charging speed to 100 kilowatt the car can do 200 kilowatt but it's actually cool then you have the range here all kind of information about the range you can maximize your range it will give you some kind of tips uh, where you can maximize the range and it will help you um, do that anyway from eq we have the smartphone where you can connect your smartphone and if i'm not wrong you can even use android auto and apple carplay i'm not sure about that but i think uh, so but guys this is it let's go actually let's go to the passenger view and i want to show you also that screen guys once you are here in the passenger seat you will see this turn on button and then you can turn it on and then here is the screen you have the same controllers as you have it on the big main screen i don't know if it's make any sense to go in every single detail uh, again but it makes the same thing you can see the same information right here the same things are here here is the consumption i mean eq mode the information and all kind of stuff you can find it here the settings of the car it's it's very similar with what you see as a driver but it's just uh, crazy incredible to have this thing only for you here as a passenger it's just impressive anyway guys that was the video i hope you enjoy it i hope uh, it was helpful for you if you have questions ask me down below maybe i forget something uh, i have to say that the video the review and test drive will come soon on the channel so stay tuned also thank you very much for watching my video guys i really appreciate that don't forget to subscribe like and share and guys stay tuned stay close because this car is just incredible this is crazy i mean love this car okay thank you for watching Stay safe and see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.